Hello, Mr. Nigren here. Welcome to Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic and my sub mod for it named Factions United. I have recently uploaded a video of 1 hour 24 minutes I believe where I went through all the changes. We will go straight to the Baltic campaign. I'm st gonna start a campaign in this mod. So we will still go through all the factions very fast. So we will place uh, many tool cities on. We will have that checked. We will not throw any CPU moves. We will not have any time limit and battle difficulty will be medium. So they won't, the enemy won't get bonuses and uh, battle dif difficulty on the map could be very hard difficulty. Okay, so the playable factions are the Prussian faction, they are not Germans, they are the Prussian Balts that predated the arrival of the Germans in this area. Okay, and then we have the Morafilki Norse faction, they are Norwegians. We have the Frankish Empire, a mix between Germans and French, but I believe the French hold the Frank uh, areas to the east. In other words, they hold modern France pretty much and a bit more. And then uh, <coughs> East Frankish Empire, the, the east of the empire, they, they are the German speaking people and they are the ones in the game. We only have a very small portion of their faction here. So the Germans, the German part of the Fr Frankish Empire. We have the Kursi, the Coronian Belts. We have the Rigelandi, Norwegian Norse here. Then we have Gotland, the Geats, Götar in Swedish, they are playable. We have Westfold, the largest Norwegian faction, they look small here, but in this sub mod Factions United, all the factions start with all their territory. So they will have a much vaster area than, than on this picture. The pictures do not show the, the new locations, they show the old ones when they started with like one, two, two, three areas. Denmark started with eight in the original. But in the sub mode they start with everything they had historically after their conquests before they started to fight the others. Okay, so uh, Westfold, the largest Norwegian faction, then we have Kvenland, the Finnish faction, with access to Sami mercenaries. That's why I count this as the Finnish Sami faction. We have Gardariki or Godariki Ras. Gardariki Ras. They are the Russians and the uh, Eastern Slavs, <coughs> and then uh, we have uh, Logoland, the Fort Norse faction, the Norwegian Norse faction, the Fort Norwegian Norse faction up here. They have a, a slightly larger area in this sub mod. Okay, we have Hame, the second Finnish faction. They have access to Finnish mercenaries and Finnish troops. They are the same troops that they can hire as mercenaries as their own troops if they want some. They need to go up here. And everyone in the game can get mercenaries from any faction if they are in the right region. So if we take a Norse general or a French general up here, they would be able to get uh, Sami troops. And if they are here, they would get Finnish troops. And in these areas, Norse troops. And of course, down here, Saxon mercenary troops. They can't get Franks. They get Saxon mercenaries instead. And here, uh, I believe, Slavs and Balts. Yeah. And Gadrick Rust, that's uh, I believe Slavic Magnar is there. Maybe a unique Rust unit, I don't know. I haven't really played that part and it's been a while, but uh, they have some Magnar for sure, but I don't know if it's Slavic units or unique ones from the Rust faction. Okay, and then we have Gutland, this Ayr here. Playable, they have one area Vispir, or Visby in Swedish. We have Denmark, Denmark. Denmark is the old Norse name for Denmark. Uh, they're the only Norse Viking faction that has a united country. Norway is divided in four parts. Sweden is divided in three. Gutland, Gotland and Sweden. Um, while Denmark is, has their own whole country and they are larger in this time period than they are today. So they are the strongest faction in the game. Of course the Franks would be stronger if they had their entire empire but they have only seven areas. So that's why they are weaker, but their army is still more professional than the Danish army. They have access to heavy cavalry. I believe the Slavs also have a bunch of cavalry units. And uh, all the Norse have uh, mounted javelin cavalry. The Slavs have that too. I believe uh, everyone has mounted javelin or slight cavalry, but the Slavs and uh, 
the Franks they have access to heavy melee cavalry and the Balts I believe have heavy melee cavalry as their bodyguards but uh, I believe that I removed the bodyguard that used to be heavy cavalry for the Slavs it's now uh, dismantled because they were OP the Balts that's uh, not as much of a problem because they are far away from the north I didn't want the Vendel and the East and Slavic Vakin that predates Poland to conquer Denmark and France or the French Empire, I mean. Uh, okay, Svitjord has heavy cavalry, unlike the other Norse, and the reason is because, uh, well, the Norwegian Norse and the Danes went to England in 793 and onwards. Svitjord faction would go to, to, to this area. Of course, uh, Ragnar Lothbrok uh, is leading Svitjord, but he would become the king of Denmark later. Someone else would rule. Uh, Svitjord and they would raid uh, down in the Russian and Slavic areas and Baltic areas instead of in England. Well, the Norwegians and the Danes would raid England, so that's why Swedes uh, got the knights uh, as the Slavs and, and such used that, so they were inspired there. Uh, of course, the Danes and the Norse should have been inspired by the English, but but I don't know, maybe they thought it was unmanly to use cavalry, I don't know. Okay, but anyway, uh, so Sweet Jud is the fact that we will play as the Swedes, led by Ragnar Lothbrok in this game. We also have Legerta, a unique model for her and such. Okay, we have the Ubotrites, Slavic faction, the East Slavic faction, they will be become a vassal of the Franks historically very shortly after the, this campaign starts they are very weak and in between Denmark from the Frankish Empire and a Vend another Slavic, Slavic faction Vendland which is stronger has about seven regions the Frankish Empire has seven regions but the best army in the game and uh, Denmark has uh, 19 areas well the Ubertrites have three so Real weak. Vendland is their other neighbor here. Um, predates Poland and then we have Krivici, which is the Eastern Slavic Union. They have the benefit of having more cavalry than the other Slavic, Baltic, and Norse factions. Only fr the Frankish Empire has more cavalry than they do, and better cavalry than they do. But the Frankish Empire is slightly. Uh, nerfed by not having their entire country and by I believe they do not have the best economy either and they do not have access to their heavy cavalry immediately they have some in the starting armies maybe but we can't recruit them immediately so in this mode everyone starts with villages except the Franks they start with the town they probably need a large town or such for, for the heavy cavalry We'll go immediately to Sweetjord. Okay, so Sweetjord, the year is 785 AD, <coughs> and this is the text. Under the control of Ragnar Lothbrok, the Swedes face a position both interesting and challenging. An obvious start to gain power is to unite all of Sweden under one banner. This will, of course, mean coming into bloody contact with the Geats and the Gotlanders to their south. To the east across the Baltic Sea lays Finland and its collection of tribes. Amongst these tribes the Tavastians stand out as the most potential threat if the Swedes want to turn their attention to the area and attempt to gain complete dominance over the Gulf of Kubotnia. Taking control over the Åland Islands seems the most obvious place to start if that is the case. Yeah, we, we won't focus on uh, the Finns in, his, in history believe that Sweden conquered these areas, but that happened only in later medieval era, when, when they had formed the Kingdom of Sweden and uh, were religious Christians and sent crusading knights to Finland to baptize the Finns and do that through the Bible down on the, on the ground or floor, were killed. Okay, so in, in medieval Sweden they would conquer Finland, that's why Finland is not a main objective in this campaign, because they didn't conquer Finland, uh, or Ham, uh, which is the fact that holds most of this area, so we won't focus on them. 
start here as we cured. We will uh, hold a uh, vast territory, we hold this area, I believe. Let's start. Uh, so, our enemy is Gautland, Götaland, in Swedish. So, we will fight first and foremost. And then we have Gutland. Historically, uh, Gutland choose to join Sweden, but in this game, they will be conquered. And Gautland. Uh, Believe they conquered Svitjord and then convinced the Swedes to, to accept that by using uh, the colors of Svitjord, I believe. But the colors in this mod, uh, I believe, might be wrong uh, because Gotland is using the Swedish colors and Svitjord is using different colors. I, I believe maybe in history it was the opposite, uh, but Gotland conquered the Swedes and then convinced the Swedes to, to, to accept it by keeping their colors, which would be Gotland's colors in this mod. So we will have different colors, we won't have the blue and yellow colors because that's Gotland in this mod while we are playing Sweetjord. Okay, Gotland and Gotland, that's the main enemies of Sweetjord. Of course we have Denmark down here that will also be an enemy that will need to be handled in history. I believe Sweetjord was defeated by Denmark, but in the game we will of course have to defeat them too. And then we have a border with the north, I believe we could have good relations with Westfall unless the AI decides to attack. We are playing on very hard difficulty, they might attack. Um, actually, yeah, but I still think we will play on very hard. Uh, so we might be attacked by the north, but in history, Sweetjord used to have pretty good relations with uh, Westfall, I believe. The, the largest Norse faction. And then Kvenl and the fin -Sami, Finnish Sami nation. Um, we uh, need to obviously protect our border here. In the victor conditions in this sub mod, they are slightly outdated. I changed the victor conditions and the alliances at the start in the main mod. But when I do, did that here, when I changed the win conditions, the game started to crash. I had to return them to how they were previously. So in, in the victory condition, if we play a short campaign, we need to eliminate factions Gautland to win. If we play a long campaign, we need to eliminate Gautland, Kvenland and Denmark. I want to eliminate Gautland, Gautland and Denmark, but not really Kvenland necessarily. But I think we'll go for the long campaign. We need to hold 40 regions to win and eliminate Götaland, Kvenland and Denmark. I will use the names of this mod, uh, but uh, as I'm from Sweden, I will use the Swedish word for Gotland, which is Götaland. Uh, Kvenland, I don't really know. Uh, Denmark, that's uh, Denmark in Swedish, but I will say Denmark as they were known in Old Norse and is known in this game. Okay, so we play a sweet jude. Strengths, good cavalry and the opportunity to easily expand into the lightly defended lands of the Finns. Alright, we'll certainly take the Åland Island, but uh, we will avoid the Finns. At least until the late game, we have to defeat the Kvens to win, and then we will border Finland, maybe we'll take them too, but we will focus in this area first and dominate the the Norse and maybe try to form Sweden and uh, if the Norse here attack but they are busy fighting each other, they are four factions but if they attack us we will have to fight them too it's, it's a high risk they will attack us at one point or another uh, Strengths, good cavalry and the opportunity to easily expand into the lightly defended lands of Finns that's good that we have cavalry every Norse faction has mounted javelin throwers but uh, can get that as mercenaries too, but only sweet you this faction has the heavy knights or svenskir riddarar in old Norse, which means svenska riddare in, in modern Swedish, which means Swedish knights in English. So yeah, they're the only ones with Swedish knights. And they are heavy cavalry of course, but they lack any formations because this is an early period. Weakness is bad relations with Denmark and uh, Götaland, so we will uh, of course have to fight them. Uh, so every faction in this game will start with all the territory. Our best unit is the Hoverder, 
top of where their unit looking like this heavy infantry um, if I were to guess I say they are like uh, hovvektare uh, or, or something which means like uh, royal guard or something hov uh, means like uh, yeah, that's uh, royal pretty much and uh, where there uh, I think uh, uh, I, th I think it's something about guard so I think they are royal guards of the sweet youth faction they are not the generals bodyguard they are unique elite unit okay let's start the campaign So I played as Sweet Jude in an earlier version of Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic, the same mod but without my sub mod changes and without the recent changes. I believe back in 2017 I, sh I played until I defeated Denmark, then I ended the, 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 the walk through. So the difference between a walk through and a let's play is that you speak in a let's play and you do not speak in a walk through. It was a walk through because I didn't speak back then, I just recorded when I played and uploaded to YouTube. So there are videos there of, of that campaign, but I never spoke in, in the videos. I started speaking during the summer of 2018. So. Any video prior to 2018, I didn't speak in. Okay, yeah. <coughs> so we check the faction. Capital city is uh, Sieg Tuna. It is uh, Sigunta here. Um, because I believe the German modder Appen, who did a sub mod Raymond Francorum for my release of Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic in 2018, he changed the names to be more German. Um, and changed the names back to modern. For example, Uppsala has the right name here if you look at Uppsala today. But uh, Uppsala was actually correct in Old Norse. This mod had Old Norse names for the cities not Swedish names, uh, so uh, he shouldn't have changed that. I, I am thinking in an update I will turn the names back to Old Norse. I can understand him changing the German names of the Frankish faction because he is German. So that's probably correct to change the German names, but uh, changing the Norse names was totally unnecessary because sure, it's named Uppsala in Swedish, but in Old Norse it was Uppsala which was the name uh, the mod used prior to, the, to his submod and uh, I believe this settlement was named Sigtuner in Old Norse well the Swedish name would be Sigtuna so it's lacking a T so yeah he shouldn't have changed the Swedish names but anyway Vendo <coughs> uh, I'm not sure it had a different name I believe in the original I will return the names to the old Norse names because they were great uh, but I didn't really think about it before uploading my update and it doesn't really make that much of a difference but I, I like the touch of having old Norse names in a mod set in the Viking Age. This mod aimed to be historically accurate and they wanted to use the old Norse names for any region if it uh, because they looked at the history and the sources that were available and try to make it as uh, close to, as possible. So um, in an update I will change the names back because Uppsala might be correct in modern day Sweden but uh, back then they would say Uppsala here. And same with Sigunta would be Sigtunir. I don't know Wendel, I don't remember. As for Birka that's entirely correct in modern day Swedish but in uh, in uh, all Norse it would be Burke like it was previously so I believe he he f he, he misunderstood uh, the names he thought uh, he wrote in the change log that he had fixed a bunch of uh, grammatic errors uh, for city names and such maybe for the German names but um, no they weren't wrong they were just old Norse names instead of Swedish and now they have uh, Swedish names even though this city is wrongly spelled lacks the T between the G and the U okay <coughs> so I will change that back at a later time I won't bother doing that right now 
Okay, so the capital city is uh, it's written Sigunta, but the name in Swedish is Sigtuna. I, I will use the old Norse names if I can. So I will say Sigtunir, like if the name hasn't been changed. Uppsala will as such be Uppsalir, and Birka will be Birk. Uh, Vendel will be Vendel because I don't remember the old Norse name. So if I don't remember the old Norse name, I will use whatever name is in this version of the mod, and uh, otherwise I will use the old Norse. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so um, that's the capital faction leader is Koningar Ragnar Rot Lotbrook. Koningar means king, so that's King Ragnar. Uh, so king in Swedish means uh, I believe the word for king is kung. But an older uh, word that means the same thing is konung, and it's still used in Sweden today, used not as, as often as the other word uh, kung. But uh, konungar uh, in Old Norse was the word for king, so konung and konungar is very similar. Uh, the only difference is the art end. So we have two generals, we have Lagerta the Shield Maiden and Ragnar Lothbrok himself. Then we'll get more generals as adopted family members and such. Uh, regions control 16, so we have 16 regions. In this mod, by the way, the, the two Baltic factions share units for the most part. Might have some different elites, but I think they share everything. Uh, the Slavic factions share most units. The Gadarik Rus faction has some Norse units too and some unique Rus units. They are different, and then. Uh, between the Slavs, I believe the Eastern Slavic Union has cavalry that the others do not have, and uh, then the Eastern Slavs, they have some different elites, I believe, from each other. Uh, the Frankish faction has a completely different roster compared to everyone else, and the two Finnish factions have the same units, but uh, the Quenlan faction can get the Sami up here more easily because they start there, while the Hammer faction starts down here and won't have access to the Sami as easily. The Norse, they have the same units too, the same basic units and medium units and elite units, but there are unique elites for each faction, for example, Logoland, Murafilki, Rigalandi and Westfall, the four Norwegian factions, they share troops but they have different elites and the, the, the Danish elites are different too and and the Gutnish have one unique unit and the Swedes have uh, some unique units and the Gotland faction has some unique long range units so each of the factions have different elites but uh, share the basic rosters and then there are unique um, mercenaries in, in different areas like the Sami in, in Slavic areas you can get Slavic Marcanaries as other factions, you can get Balt Marcanaries in Baltic areas, you can get Norse Marcanaries in Norse areas as other factions and as Norse, and you can get Saxon Marcanaries in French areas. You can't get the Franks as Marks, but you can get the Saxons. Okay, the, the Saxons that were conquered by the Franks. Okay. We have a merchant here, we'll send him out immediately. Unique merchant for this mod, I haven't seen it in another mod. Looked good. Original merchant. Okay, so we started here, we can take a look at the map. This is the beginning of the game. You can see that our faction is pretty vast. We are not holding all of Sweden, we see that Götaland has the area down here. Then we have Denmark holding a part of Sweden. Hold all of Denmark and some extra areas down in Europe that we do not hold today. We have the Franks. Seven areas. We have the Ubertritus with three. Zoom in on the minimap, we can see more clearly. We have the Wendland, the Eastern Slavic faction. That predates Poland. They have seven areas. We have the Prussian faction, the Prussian belts. They have eleven areas. Pretty strong. The Krivici, Eastern Slavic Union, they have 8 areas, 
they have they are strong because they have more cavalry than the others as i've said then we have the cursed coronian belts and they have actually 13 regions they are really strong actually for a baltic faction we have the gathering grass they only have five areas they are pretty weak they have access to unique uh, grass horsemen and Varangians, heavy infantry, and they also have Norse units and Slavic units. Not all of the Norse and not all of, of the Slavic units, but they have a, a mix with some unique elites that no one else has. Then I have the Hame, Finnish faction, have mostly access to Finnish troops in all of their territories. We have the Kvenland, second Finnish faction, and I believe the Hame faction has um, 13 regions. They have as many regions as, as the Koronians. The Grenland faction has 10 regions, they have access to Finnish troops as their main um, troops and then they have the Salmon Marknaries. Then we have the Halogaland Norse, they have the Norse units and then, ha then they have some elites including I believe unique uh, Helegir Leidang's folk which is like a elite, an elite uh, Evelyn throwing unit with good armor. Okay we have the Mora Filki faction have the elite brander unit, they have some fishermen that are unique to them and such. We have the unique uh, the Rigelandi Norse faction, they have unique uh, a unique heavy infantry unit, now they get steer their name, really good armor and such. Uh, if you compare them with Brandar you can say that the Brandar have better attack and strength, they are stronger. Well the the Nadgestir have better armor, better defense. Uh, Westfold they are the largest Norse faction and uh, Norwegian Norse faction. They are the second strongest faction in the game, while Sweetwood faction we are playing is the third strongest in the game. So this faction is the second strongest and uh, they do have some unique units too. And then we have Gotland, they are mostly unique uh, like archers, the Vaidmen available to others in their areas as marginaries, but otherwise they're unique to Gautland. They have some unique uh, javelin throwing uh, infantry too. They are a, a ranged uh, faction, they use a lot of lightly armored units as infantry and cavalry and uh, and ranged units. They, have, they do not have many heavily armored troops like the other Norse, but they have better ranged units gives them a disadvantage to the others. They have 11 regions, well I believe the Mora Filke faction and the, uh, and the, and the Rigalande faction, here named Riga Filke, uh, they have 5 areas each. Uh, Westfold have uh, <coughs> 16 areas, the same as Sweetjord, the faction we are playing as, and the Helogeland here has 14 areas. I thought they would be the fourth strongest, but I believe when I checked the stats of the game two turns in i believe that denmark was still domina domina uh, dominating all the categories in the games so they are the strongest and westfold is the number two sweet is the number three then the third strongest faction was actually gotland even though they only have 11 areas but they are the 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 fourth strongest faction not the logoland and then Helogeland wasn't the fifth either. I thought the the, the Kronian Belts might be the fifth, but not them either. Actually, Hame is the, the fifth strongest faction in the world. This faction holds most of Finland. Okay, so you can expect most of the Norse factions, uh, such as the Norwegians, the Swedes, the Guts, the, the Geats and the Danes to have mostly the same units with unique elites. And then Kvenland and Ham have mostly the same with unique marginaries and, uh, and then uh, maybe I, do, I don't know if they have unique leads. But Grass has some really unique troops compared to the other Slavic, but they share a lot of units with the Slavs too and the Norse. Uh, the Balts, they have the same basic and medium rosters, probably different elites. They might have the same actually. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, Eastern Slavs have different elites and the Franks are totally unique. The Saxons are also totally unique. Um, there was a guy that wanted me to add the Saxons as their own faction, but the problem there is uh, you need to add family members and and such. And this game is uh, aimed to be very, very historically accurate. So it would uh, 
be a lot of work to, you know, add all the historically accurate characters and bad traits and genres and everything. It's, it's easier to just keep them as they are marginalized in these areas for anyone who is there. And as the Frank started, they have access to them. Okay. So, let's uh, check. We will be attacked on our borders. We have garrisons in every territory. Similar garrisons in most areas. For example, in uh, Solatum, we have a uh, smaller garrison. It's under risk of being attacked by the Quens. And, and uh, we have the area of uh, Freysayer. I believe it's later a Norwegian area. Well, Solatum, I don't know. But um, Freysayer is certainly a Norwegian area. Uh, so they... Uh, they have some garrisons everywhere, but uh, the enemy might gather their troops and attack, and then they won't be able to defend, because they will have the same troops, but more of them. So we need to send troops to the border areas. <coughs> we need to defend at least against the Quens, I believe. They will attack at one point or another. Uh, while uh, the Norse, I think, will be busy with uh, their own wars. But they might attack me at one point too. Like uh, Mura here, Swedish area. Mura. I uh, will uh, we'll use the Swedish pronunciations for any area. That is Swedish. Okay. Tarstaborg. Tarstaborg. I will rarely say that name. I don't know exactly. <coughs> but anyway. I, I guess Tarstaborg. Uh, there we have Legerta. The shield main is the air. We send uh, more troops there. Okay, we have two fleets. So we'll um, move the fleet over here and combine the ships. We have access to Carfi ships and uh, Snekia. Okay, the Carfi is a small 7th century ves vessel with an attached keel rather than a single square sail. Okay, 7th century. And the Snekja longbows have been in use by the Vikings since the 8th century. Okay, so it's uh, like 100 years more recent than the Carfi. Okay. And one of them, the, the Carfi, has 3 uh, attack, 1 charge bonus, 5 defense, and 50 soldiers manning it. The other one, the Snekja, has 85 soldiers manning the boat and has 6 attack, 1 charge bonus, 6 defense. This game there are no real time battles with trips, so battles with trips will be out resolved on the map. Yes. You already know that if you played Medieval Total War Kingdoms. It's just for those who are not have not played the game yes. uh, that might have an interest in the, the Norseman setting. Okay. Uh, let's check recruitment. So everyone starts with villages except the Franks who have a capital that is a town and it's possible to at least upgrade until large city. When you have a large city you should be able to get every unit and such in the building. But uh, the, the mother of Ringon Francorum might have actually added more than just the large town. Maybe he added the cities too, I don't know. But uh, in the original version there were no cities or large cities and the castles do not exist in this mode because it's a setting earlier than when they got the castles. Okay, so we can start building. It's a little bit difficult to read this stuff, but we could get some troops. Um, I'm a bit away from the TV screen. I'm in my sofa and I'm using a TV as the screen. And because of the color of the text, it's difficult to read it. Yeah, but I um, guess we'll go for a muster field. We need troops as soon as possible. We also need a good economy. We'll build different stuff in different uh, areas. We'll go for a to tool shed. We will just vary between them. We 
build some st some stuff, some different stuff in in Helsingland or Helsingland in Swedish. I think we'll use Helsingland. I don't know if it's the old Norse word or if it's been changed. Uh, so this area is a village, but we had access to more buildings here. So it might be worth it to build some some different buildings here, but I think we'll go for a master field everywhere. Uh, wait a second. Um, I might actually go for a master field in every area. Or a tool shred, because this is also a unit. To get um, fatigued folk, which is uh, poor people. Um, we get them in in the tool shred, and in the master field we get, uh, I believe, uh, bender, which is farmers. But uh, the farmers are better than the poor people. We'll go for master fields everywhere. I think. Start with quite a lot of money due to having all these areas. Have, here we have Freysayer. We had more buildings to construct here too. And in Mura, we had the, only the four basic ones. Torstabori as well. And in Lean Shipping or Lean Coping. And this game we'll say the Swedish word lean shipping uh, and then we have uh, Ravellier the Norse name and uh, we have uh, Torshalla which probably would be Torshall in Swedish there, there are no such area I believe in modern day Sweden Torshalla that means Tors uh, Hall it's very viking like okay and then we have uh, Wester Arrows which means Wester uh, uh, Ås in Swedish Wester Arrows okay I believe the spelling has been changed but it's similar similarly spoken as in Old Norse there okay we have Uklabo And Kaupang Swicker, which means, uh, I believe, uh, uh, Ship uh, Hamsvik or something, uh, which means pretty much uh, merchants, uh, merchants, uh, uh, like uh, something, something about the port and the merchant. Anyway, the port. Area. Okay, Helsingland. We have, we have uh, finished the constructions this turn. Can't uh, recruit any troops, not in Uppsala at least. Or Uppsala, not in Burke. Not in Sigtunir. Well, we have access to ships in, uh, in uh, Jettbol. Uh, we are already holding Åland, I forgot. The Åland Iron. Higher. In this sub at least, we can go for a merchant there. Oh, we can't really recruit anything right now. Okay. And uh, we can get uh, poor people in the capital, but can't get them right now. We need to wait four turns. Okay, so we will be attacked somewhere, and they will use more troops than what we have in a garrison. But whenever we move out troops, we leave that area undefended. For example, if I move out all the troops here and yes. combine them with the area here, we will have a stronger position here. Then this area will be weaker and easily taken. As every area is a village, the enemy do not need to siege uh, any turn. They can attack immediately and take the area. But if we have a garrison here and they have a larger garrison, the same thing will happen. It will be a battle immediately and we will probably lose it. So what we will do is we need to defend the border areas, but at the same time preventing ourselves from 
going bankrupt later in the game when we get more troops and buildings. Ilmuat, Legurta, the shield maiden, she has a unique strat model. Then we'll hire all the mercenaries we can hire with her. So we got uh, Huskarlar, Huskarar in Swedish. Um, we got the uh, Riddarar in Old Norse, Riddare, Swedish, Knights, English, so it means Knight. Huskarlar, that's just Huskarl in English. Thunder that's just farmer and the bogeyman that's just bowman. Okay, so uh, we will. Uh, could, uh, but I don't want to leave areas too weak either. We'll move out some troops here, leave the poor people inside. We'll have to take risks in this game. So in, when I try the game, they could attack from here. Gautland is down here, Westfold is here. We have Westfold here, and Gautland here, and Gautland here. They can attack uh, Linköping, they can attack Bravellir, they can attack Torstaborg. They can even attack Tursala. Tursal. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we probably won't to move down troops as fast as possible. Um, but I think it's more interesting to go towards there. March. We can march Capital there, we will hire more mercenaries. Need a stronger force there. Orders. We will... Uh, yes out these troops too. Yeah, we have left these areas pretty weak now. We have weak in these areas, but it's fine. We'll move some troops yes. up there. So they are defended in case they go for lean shipping. Then we will move these troops towards uh, Tarstaborg. Tarstaborg. Not sure. Um, Wester Westeros. I think uh, need their garrison in case the Norse will invade. Can immediately yes. move troops towards. Uh, let's see these areas. We risk being attacked. The Quens. I think we will move troops from this area yes. towards Solatum. We will need them up there. We can't hire mercenaries without a general. We'll move these troops to reinforce the border with the Quens. We have no interest in fighting the Quens in a while, but we never know if they will attack us. Um, Frey Sayer, by the way, Frey was a god in Norse mythology. So Frey Sayer means something about uh, that god. Okay. We have Mura, I believe Mura might be invaded by the Norse. Could come attack Uklabu, Mr. Oros, uh, Mr. Oros in Swedish, and Mura. So none of these areas are safe from attack if Westfall attacks. Uh, so the small garrison can't do much. Mura needs a stronger garrison, I think. Yes. We will move these troops towards Mura. My lord. We march no further today, Lord. And Vendel. I think uh, our leader Ragnar Lotbrook needs an army too. We hire some troops here. By the way, we have Berserkers now with the Berserk attribute. I added that for this uh, let's play. It's not available in the release as it demands me to use the Medieval Tutor Lore Engine Oral Project Tool or M2DV EUP Tool, which I didn't want uh, to be necessary for the ordinary player, but I did uh, enable it for this game. In Warcraft of War we have no choice because the, uh, there are a lot of units that crash without it, but in this mod um, 
we can actually do without it but not if we use the berserkers with their berserker ability and I believe the Ulf Hedner unit also is using it so Ulf Hedner means uh, wolf heaten and uh, berserker means bear skin so they are wolf skins and bear skins okay now with the berserk attribute that will allow them to go berserk in battle and it's OP because then they will be heroic which is really nice Move out the troops. We need Ragnar to have some more troops. The question is where should we go? So Lagerta is marching um, down towards uh, Gautland. But I think uh, we will need Ragnar there too. So we'll, uh, Move some troops to Ragnar's army. Bringing our troops together. Your majesty. Your majesty. Combining forces. Could leave a unit of Boga men there. And uh, these other troops. Ah, we had some elites here. And obviously we'll use them. Including the berserkers. We'll allow some of the basic troops to leave the army don't need the brawlers so the Viga men they are ale hall brawlers pretty much a yoke unit okay let's move up the karar the lidsmen bowmen are basic but they are still bowmen we might have use for them have no basic troops like the poor people anymore here. The Wrecker unit Orders. could be good. Uh, yes, I think we could... Uh, could move out a unit of... Car or maybe... Maybe not, we keep it in the capital. Need a better unit there too. Move Ragnar. A good day's march ends. Ragnar Lotbrock in this game. He's the Svea Jarl. Jarl of Sweetjord. This is the Jarl of uh, Sweetjord. Sweden didn't exist back then, but uh, back then Sweden was named Sweetjord. Uh, it didn't include all of Sweden, uh, and all of the people of Sweden weren't included. Okay, so the Jarl means we get plus one PT. Plus one personal security, plus three authority, and plus two hit points. He is the faction leader. This man is the leader of one of the world's major powers and commands respect and obedience as a result. Plus one command, plus two troop morale, plus three authority, plus three personal security, plus two bodyguard valor. This game should be very stable in the campaign and in battle, but it might crash after battle, after, after siege battles. If we used the third person mod, I've had it crash a few times when I used that third person mod in siege battles. Well, when I used it in ordinary battles, there were no problem, and uh, siege battles would not crash either if I didn't use that uh, tool. So, um, yeah, the tool makes the game a little bit less stable, and uh, especially in sieges for some reason. It doesn't crash during the sieges, it crashes after. Uh, okay, but we'll still use it probably in some of them, but it's a risk. So I won't use it in every siege. But I will try to use it in every battle. That's the fun thing about this campaign, that I can use the third person mod. I never used it in the past in this mod. I never had the, the sub mod uh, playable because it wasn't ready. But I played the or original mod, as I said, and I didn't have the third person mod in 2017. It released in the summer of 2019. I haven't played this game since 2017. So. Played some in playtesting maybe a few months back, but besides that, I haven't played it. I haven't played it on YouTube since 2017. Okay, so uh, Ragnar Lothbrok has a huge army. Could probably move some units. The Gerta was in need of some more units. Changed my mind. We need to reach La 
Gert. Uh, fleet is not entirely safe. Gutland here has a fleet. Oh, they might attack. Sink it. Okay. Let's end the turn, I guess. But we have. Uh, are moving uh, troops to Mura to defend against the possible attack from the Norse. If they attack here, we will have to move them back, take it back. They could attack there instead, but I think they will attack this area. Quens will attack this one. And Logoland will probably get uh, Freysayer if they attack. Their main focus will be Gitland or Gautland in this game. Then. Uh, will say the Swedish word Götaland. So Götaland will be the main focus. For now we will ignore Gutland. We might have to face their fleet. And Denmark will be the faction we will fight after. Uh, Götaland has been taken care of. Okay, we need three more units to the Goethe's army. Could send this immediately to her army. Other units are not ready. Okay, they can't be moved. They came from Revelir. Okay, let's end the turn. By the way, let's check the diplomacy. So we have no allies in the game. Our symbol is a pig, which makes sense. Ragnar said, uh, Oh, how the little piggies will grant. And they hear about how their old man suffered. So, piggies means wild boars, so, so sweet would have a wild boar symbol, at least in this mod they do. Okay, then we have the Frankish Empire, it's an enemy there, enemies enemy is to all the Norse. We have the Coronians, Rigaland, the Norse, they are at war with us, they're far away, Gutland is at war, they will attack with their fleet, Quenland will attack at one point or another, Ham is far away, and... Um, Gautland actually, they, we will fight them immediately. Denmark too will probably attack at one point or another. And the independent factions, they are extinct, so that's good. Uh, but we are not at war with Westfold or Helogoland, so we shouldn't be attacked by them. We are at war with Rigaland, but they are far away. Okay, let's uh, end the turn. We'll try to keep Ragnar and Lagert alive as long as possible, but in this game, of course, they are not immortal. They can die of old age. They are pretty young. Ragnar is 24 years old at the start of the campaign. Lagert is not uh, much uh, different. Uh, so we can get a candidate for adoption, but they are pretty costly, the, the generals. But we could use more of them, probably. They are pretty good. So I think we'll accept that we have a general, a new family member in uh, the area of Uppsala, Uppsalir in Old Norse, we'll use the Old Norse name, Uppsalir. So we have um, yes. Skehil there, Skehil there, new general. I hope that family member not the best one, not the historical one. Here we have um, army marching towards Torstabori. We will continue. And there. We can move Ragnar down to Tursal. Tursala. Okay, we'll do that. March. We continue tomorrow, my lord. Okay. Orders. So the girt. Uh, hmm. Could move her back right now. But uh, they might attack me. Then we will move her. We, we want some reinforcements to her army. Yes. Yes, Lord. Your will. March. So do we want to send? Orders. Send her up there. 
So we can reach her. She have any or she had bowmen and vademen. Okay, we'll send a unit of Viking R. We want the Viking R in the army. We also want um, the Rekkar. And next turn we'll remove the poor people and replace them with the Karar. And we'll remove some, uh, some uh, farmers too. And replace them with the uh, Alehole Brawlers and, and the bog uh, Bogaman or Bowman. Okay, so we can't move anymore this time. We can still uh, probably construct stuff. Unless we are busy constructing everywhere, which I think we are. Yeah, we can't construct this time. We had no recruitment anywhere. I believe we got a uh, merchant somewhere. No, we couldn't recruit in Holland. It was there was some issue there. The Gutnish fleet is upon us. They have a large fleet, larger than us. We'll move with the army to Brovaler and enter the city with these troops. Their ships as far away from the Gutnish fleet as possible. Yes, my lord. Oh, the Gutnish fleet. Yeah. Orders. So there might be some troops we can move. Orders. These will continue towards uh, Solotum. They are not this that strong. Fraysayer. We will move towards Mura with this force. Tomorrow, my lord. It's not that good that we are uh, that weak in Fraysayer. It wouldn't matter that much if they took Fraysayer. Yes. Solatum wouldn't be that much of an issue either, but I don't want to lose uh, Helsingland, the Swedish area. So the, the other two, well, Solatum might be a Swedish area. The word is not Swedish. Okay, Uklabu. We want to keep, of course, and Mura. They are Swedish. Mr. Aros to Tursal. Tarstaborg. Yeah. I think we will end the town. They might attack me now. Yeah. They attacked Bravieller. We sent two new units there, but they have the upper hand and they can attack immediately due to the area being a village. So, balance of power, army strength ratio 1, 2 in their favor. You have Captain Ulfar there with 326 men. Yes, they have a Captain Raffrey of uh, Jötaland with 626 men. See the balance of power. They have a unit of Rekkar, uh, you have lean throwers, you have a unit of poor people, Patrakis folk. We also have a unit of Rekkar and poor people, and they have a unit of Bogaman, and we have a unit of Bogaman. Uh, but then they have uh, a unit of um, farmers and a unit of Vigaman too. Of course, we can't win. They have the same units plus two more. So we'll just. Uh, I believe um, the AI is not always smart. We could probably cause them some damage. But they have the same units, but more units. So in the end they will win. We will auto resolve that one. They took uh, Bravaler. We will take it back later. So that's the problem with uh, the Gotland, Jutland in this mod, they are attacking with their huge fleet. They have snacker ship and coffee ships, the same as us, but they have a larger fleet. We will auto solve that. We lost. They probably follow us and destroy the fleet. It doesn't this matter. We don't really need a fleet right now. And if I the north, we might need a fleet. Otherwise, it takes forever to move up here in the mountains. But Sweet Jude, we do not really need a fleet. Wait, maybe when, when we attack the Finns, because they are far away, but as long as we fight our neighbor, Jutland or Denmark, 
I believe this should be fine. We'll get another general. New mission. Five turns remaining until we fail. Reinforce region. Council of Nobles. This region is the frontier of our enemies. But this undermanned and vulnerable to attack. Council suggests you increase our forces here by at least four unit tours hull. Yeah. Yes. I guess we will uh, move out this unit. Move in Ragnar Lotbrook there for now so we'll finish the quest. Reward. You'll receive a reward of 500 florins. That's good. For now we will do that. Um, so they took an area from us. Ravellier fell to Götaland. The end of turn report. Kingdom of Denmark. For Denmark they are dominating the world. At least the Baltic area of the world. So they have the largest military, the best financial situation or economy best production, the largest population, and they are the overall strongest faction. Okay. They are future enemy. Uh, okay. The mission, yeah, the construction. We constructed a bunch of master fields. And a tool shed. Tool shed. Now we can get troops, which is good. We can also get merchants. We'll get more farmers in uh, in weekly defended areas. So that's always good to have. Now we can recruit in yet well as well. We couldn't recruit without that building, I see. And in Sieg Tuna, Sieg Tunir, Old Norse, Upsalir. Solatum in Helsinki land in Kaupangas Vicar Okay and in Uklabu Uklabu Wester Ås Tushal Okay so we recruit some farmers uh, basic troops well we will wait one turn with Ragnar in that area so we'll the quest. Uh, so, area we lost. This area we lost it to the Geats. To, to the to Jötana. Okay. Could attack there. They might attack elsewhere then. Your win. Was gonna attack them with Ligurta. Their capital here somewhere. They wanted to send back some farmers. Orders. <coughs> we want uh, at least the car. Your will. Now we want to take that area back. Well. Won't yes. be able to reach Move that on. area this time anyway. Yes. Orders. March. Orders. We'll try to take it back. Yes. Change my mind. This is where we shall meet the enemy. We'll the use the these units in the army. So we remove some farmers. They'll be yes. garrisoned instead. Orders. Yes. Okay, we can't move anymore with Legerta this time. Can't move with Ragnar. The troops here will reach yes. Mura this time. The larger force defending Mura now. This Order. force will reach Solatum. That's good. It's just over half an army there and half an army in Mura. This area is a bit too weak. We do not have a lot of troops to spare. don't really need to s keep that many troops in the areas because they will fall anyway if they have the up, uh, superior numbers. They can move uh, some troops towards uh, Uklabu. Some 
troops. The capital too. By the way, we have some troops here. Including Svenska Ridder. Then we need to move. We want the Ridder unit in Ragnar's army. Ragnar, he has um, some good troops. We don't need to send the Karar. Or the Rekkar. I think we do want them in Legertas army. Your Orders. Yes. We'll still send them. This is a beautiful position. We'll replace some farmers. There is one unit of farmers still in the army. And that will replace and will replace one of the brawl. No, the, f the poor people. And the farmers will be replaced in favor of these two. Yes. Hopefully they won't be ambushed by the by the geats. <coughs> we have uh, five units inside the settlement. We can construct new stuff. We'll go for uh, <coughs> see here. economy. We'll go for woodworker. Woodworker, it will increase the economy. <coughs> we'll go for a tool shed in uh, Tashtaborg and in uh, this area of Mura. We'll go for it too. And in uh, Freysayer, we can get a building that will give us. Uh, oh, now I returned here for some reason. Okay, yet Bola will go for wood there. Hunter. Okay, I think we could go for that here. So in this mod you need <coughs> in this mod you need uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> in this mod you need certain buildings before you can build other buildings. Yeah, and you need those buildings to build units. So if, uh, to get Berserkers we need specific buildings to get a specific building in order to get uh, the, <coughs> the Berserkers. I believe the Berserkers need a specific building and to get that building you need other buildings. Yeah. Okay, we'll go for the tool shed in <coughs> Birk. And in Vendel, we'll go for the master field. Uppsala, we will go for the tool shred. Same in Solatum. And in Helsingland or Helsingland, Swedish. We have a lot of options. I think we'll go for the practice range, which will give us Pogaman or Bowman. <coughs> go for more wood to increase the economy. Uklabo will go for the tool shred. And then Best Rose will go for the tool shred as well. So troops, okay, good. <coughs> go for some woodworker. In the other area too. Bracer. Go for the practice range there to get the bowman. We will end the turn. <coughs> Ubotrites converted. <coughs> <coughs> A messenger claims that the mighty Ubotrites have been <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Messenger Claims that the mighty Ubotrites have uh, bent knee to Carl the Great and converted to Christianity. Is this the start of the end of the pagans? Okay. Right presented. Okay, we can marry someone. Fingerlegert. Okay, no, we won't do that. 
that. Okay, so uh, we have the strongest military now after we recruited some farmers. But otherwise, Denmark is the strongest, okay. <coughs> strongest faction. <coughs> Our kingdom now boasts the mightiest armed force in the no in the whole world. And our troops, uh, all our, if all our troops, where are all our troops assembled? In one point, no other faction could hope to field an army to defeat them. <coughs> other rulers should now think twice before um, seeking to anger us. Okay. Mission success. You have been rewarded with 500 florins. Nice. <coughs> Recruitment report, we have a lot of new farmers in the settlements. Lions announced the Frankish Empire and the Ubotrites. The Ubotrites have become their vassal, I believe. Yeah, uh, no, they became an ally, not a vassal. Okay. The difference is if they are an, a vassal, their AI will stop acting. Okay, we can now attack with Legerta. Yes? I believe <coughs> that we want to send uh, only some of the troops. Into the first, we'll divide the troops. So how many do they have? They have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six units. Two farmers, one poor people unit, and or one unit of poor people. One unit of bowmen, one unit of alehole brawler, one unit of wrecker, okay. Uh, so we are attacking with two units of uh, alehole brawlers. They are better than the farmers and the poor people. We have one poor people unit and one farmer. Okay. Send a wrecker there. The unit yes. of bowmen. Okay, so we have two alehole brawlers. They have one. They have one more of the farmers. We should have the upper hand now. Yes. And I will send another one just in case. Also have two units of uh, bowmen in that army. And uh, believe Legarta will use the other force. Yes. We can attack immediately, of course, as it's a village. Take back Raveller from the gates. We use the, the word Geats instead of Götar because it fits better with the English language. Okay, relations worse and Gautland very poor, Götaland. Okay, so that's the case. We now move out this army. We can keep a unit of Kalar there. We do want the cavalry. The army. Yes. Onward, orders. We will add these Lord. into the settlement of yes. Tursal. Don't know where the enemy will come from. They might attack Tursal or Westeros from the north area of Westfold. We'll move this way. Move out. We can march no further. So I think they will attack Tarstabori. Orders. Could be wrong. Uh, then we will attack as Legerta. The question is if I should use that uh, tool. We can also hire mercenaries, by the way. So the Jums Vikingar, they are pretty good. Higher unit of Jums Vikingar. Farmer, that's the Gutnish unique unit. The unique unit for Gutland, but we can get them as mercenaries. We'll get them too. And the Vikings. And the unit of Fetric is Folk. Okay. Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight units. To have uh, 
Gautnir er en ei Gautnir og Gautskar Gautskar og med det er Need to finish this fast Okay, Captain Water of Jötaland has 749 men Erfinge, or Arvinge, as means Ar, Lagerta has 415 men, and then 1001 additional men. We will add. Okay, we will uh, say the game before starting the battle. What the fuck happened now? Something about the tool. Was it at all what I intended when I clicked that button? It's not good. <sighs> okay, we will save. Don't know how to remove this. Okay, uh, so. Hopefully it didn't fuck up the video. I'm making more than one video. That could of course be the case. Um, okay, we will. Uh, then I will have to merge them. Uh, okay, so uh, six one in our favor. The armor strength ratio, balance of power. Let's start the battle. Fight the battle on the battle map. I don't think we need to use the third person mode here. Could be a bit unstable when, when using it in siege battles and uh, we don't really want Lagerta to fight in the battle anyway. So Lagerta has her own model in battle with the Swedish colors here. She looked better than I had remembered. Actually she was pretty good here. I believe her face looks better here than in the Last Kingdom Wrath of the Norsemen because I did a new a new nor create a new mo normal for her, but I believe her legs look a little bit worse. She's a bodyguard of Skutel Svein, our spearman. We have no... Uh, would, uh, they have their skill room formation, actually. Place her in skill room. They are good against cavalry. It's a unique bodyguard for her. Everyone else has the herdman bodyguard, which is a sword and shield bodyguard. The Lagerta has spear bodyguard that fit with her model better. The one from Call of Warhammer that I remade into Lagerta. Didn't want the shield maiden bodyguard in this mod that I am using there. And the reason is because this mod aim to be historically accurate and the shield maidens are not historically accurate. At least you can't, uh, no one has been able to prove that they existed. Of course, uh, Lagerta herself is a mythological character, so she might very well have been real, but. Uh, Higher units or armies of shield maidens didn't exist. Maybe could be a unit of shield maiden, maybe, but not uh, recruitable units. Uh, I thought about having the bodyguard as a shield maiden unit, but in the end I went for the Skuttel Sveinar uh, men instead. Okay, the Lidsmen could be in shield wall. We have some cavalry. Ranged you cavalry. So this cavalry the Riddarer or Riddare, also known as simply knights, but they are light javelin throwing cavalry. Light javelin throwing knights, they are in use by every Norse faction, not just Sweet Jude. But uh, the other cavalry unit that is in Ragnar's army or Ragnar's army. Ragnar or Ragnar er it, it is a Swedish name. He was uh, most likely Swedish. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, place any unit that has shield wall in shield wall formation. Put 
poor people do not have that. And our bowmen, they will be the Vedermen actually, the best archers of the Norse. They've been loose from Asia with fire ammo on. Rekka will also be in field wall. Alright. Here we have a Norse village that they took from us. Geats, Jötana. So let's start the battle. See that they have a unit of poor people. A unit of ale hole brawlers with fields or ales. Ale uh, or beer like. Uh, Yeah, they, they have um, some weird stuff, okay. Here we have the farmers. Okay, we'll just send in the ally. Shoot that stance. Started on the other side of the village. Should have the same units as the enemy, but uh, more of them. I believe they had two. They had three Viga men instead of one. This is the Ailhul Brawler unit, and then they had, uh, <coughs> I believe, uh, two Bowman units or Bogaman instead of one. And they had the same number of poor people and uh, Wrecker, uh, medium javelin throwers with axes and swords in melee. And then they had only one farmer unit. Well, the enemy had two, but we had three uh, three Vigaman units, and they had one. And the Vigaman are stronger than the farmers, so... Hopefully our ally will be able to do this on their own. We won't be able to send in anything else. So we'll let the AI do this battle. Extra troops here, we'll fight the battle. Whenever Legurta fights, we will try to use the third person mod. But in battles like this, when she doesn't need to fight, we won't bother. So there is an increased risk of the game crashing after the battle if we use it. Especially in sieges. Vigaman, Ale Hole Brawlers. Okay, and we have the Bowman, Bogaman. More of the Vigaman. Fighting the enemy's Wrecker unit. This is a Wrecker. Yeah, so the Wrecker, the Norsemen, are known for nothing if not. If not uh, violence, okay, whether farmer or smith, uh, hatcher or priest, carpenter, butcher, net weaver, uh, ring giver, <coughs> bird spinner or king, all must know how to fight. It's fitting, therefore, that even the rank and file of their armies are in many respects one of their greatest tributes. Treasury of the North, scarce food, the constant warfare, the bloody moods of the god, of the gods uh, is a wind that must be weathered by all peoples where the branches of the world tree do not shelter Midgard from such sorrow. Thus, the warriors of the north are no st stranger to peril. And the bulk of Viking forces, the warriors, fight with the ferocity of those with the Valkyrian, with the Valkyries on their, uh, on their heels. 
They are men, both useful in defense and attack. They are armed with axes and throwing spears and can fight one on one like the warriors of old. Can also for the free, form the shield wall, presenting an obstacle as real as a stone wall. Okay. Birds are calling for war spears spinning, and wolves howling. Shield answers shaft, shining moon fight wanders over the waste wasteland. Shining moon fight wanders over the wasteland. Wicked deeds uh, arise that will form hatred in this in these forces heart to awaken now warriors of uh, of mine take up your uh, your take up your targets determine on courage fight at the forefront be firm in valor Finnsburg fragment okay so there were some spelling or grammatical errors in the text. It was a bit difficult to read and I'm also a bit away from the screen as I said. Okay, so they are warriors. Medium warriors. Viking warriors. So ally not using fire ammo for some reason. I can't uh, enable it because I'm not controlling them directly. I can only place them in shootout stance, defensive stance or aggressive stance. They're represented by their unit with the portrait here. So in Hyrule Total War there were no portrait when I used the cap and in this game there is. Weird. But it isn't in the other. Something is off with the UI there. I wonder if the, the generals will have their portraits, probably not. But in this game I think they will, yeah. Okay. They will most likely take this area back. I felt like playing one of the Viking mods and uh, this sub mod is most recent for Wrath of the Norseman and uh, I felt like playing it. I'm sure there are a lot of similar units in many armies making it very difficult to survive if, if you have the numerical disadvantage but I thought it would be fun to play now with the Berserk attribute working and uh, with the updates done. We are uh, first and form foremost I believe that uh, now that they have all their territory, it will be more fun than when they had a lot of rebel areas and such. It will be a challenge to defend the borders and at the same time expand. The economy is better. You are not broke at the start, so I, I prefer that. Don't have to worry about going bankrupt. Uh, but of course we can go back bankrupt if we buy too much uh, troops and uh, if we hire too many troops and build too many buildings and do not focus on economical structures uh, and have too many troops then yeah we could go bankrupt so we need to be careful there anyway and we need to get the economical buildings constructed but even with those buildings you can go bankrupt if uh, you have too many troops. We need to obviously fight a lot of battles to keep the numbers down. Okay. So this battle, I think they are winning here, the wreck are... They were fighting here. Had a unit of um, Bunder and Wrecker here. Kill the unit we had here. Okay. I believe the armor that we sent in should be able to handle them. Have we 
is looking 681 men remaining out of 851. The fruit that is used whenever we want them to use their ranged attack, otherwise if we use attack in our aggressive stance, we will use the range units in melee. If you don't want that, you use the shootout stance. That's a problem in Hyrule Lore Classic Ultimate because the shootout stance wasn't available. So yeah, we wanted them to use their range units from afar, that's why we used that. The defense stance is good if they are the ones attacking. Now we are attacking, so we won't, won't use that. If it was only cavalry and infantry, we would have used the aggressive stance instead. Both one can use that whenever the range units have been forced into melee, but usually when you have range units you want to use the shootout stance for the ally, allied army. We've taken some casualties, 659 remaining out of 701. Okay. These guys are broken already. They did break them. They have a benefit of having a city town. So they will always uh, resume their uh, morale. Whenever they break, they run to the plaza here in the middle of the settlement or village. And then they restore their morale again. Well, our troops do not have unlimited morale, unfortunately. So they might break, unlike the enemy. So they have an advantage in that sense. That's why our slight advantage here might not be enough when I think about it. Thanks to their unbreakable morale, our troops might break. We'll see, we'll let them fight. We might actually send a unit of... Uh, Bogeman or Bowman. Here is my army. Turn over there. Okay, Legertas army. Praise to our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose. These are ours. That's good. We didn't want to spend uh, any more units than we needed to. We wanted to only send in troops that were similar to theirs, but in a slight advantage so they would win. But uh, I forgot that they, they do have unlimited morale unlike our troops, so we might need to send in more troops. We do not have any bunder or farmers only or poor people the here. <laughs> the car are maybe sent in on the bowmen. First we will let them fight here. Now we have 500, 527 remaining. We kill 56%, they kill 20%, so they are winning. I think our ally will be able to handle this. Send in the bowmen too. Get over there, we will send them anyway. Oh, we had a unit of poor people. We send them too. Don't care about the poor people. They ought to be wasted. They're too sucky to be in the army, in my opinion. They're even worse than the farmers. We check them. They have one in attack, one in charge bonus. They have 150 soldiers, or poor people. They have four defense. They have combat bonus in wood, so they at least they had an ability. They do not have any farmers in the army, but they are better than the poor people. do not need this formation, they have no, no cavalry, and they won't attack us. So we'll restore the ordinary formation, looked better. Gerta herself won't be able to uh, have to fight in this battle, I believe. The poor people do not have any symbols on their shields, they have very basic three shields without symbols. Bowmen at least have uh, fire ammo. 
kill 77% and lost 22% here. We won this one. We only have 460 remaining of the Allied army under Captain Vig Yelmer. Vig Yelmer or Yelmer. Okay. 458 remaining of 701 in the beginning. So we lost a few. They will win. We'll take back this area. From the gates. Without even having to use Lagarta's main army. There were another army that threatened us elsewhere. Here comes our poor people that we sent. Bowman has started to fire. So some help, but not much. I think even the Bowman should stop firing. Because they may just hit our own troops. They are not very good at hitting the right troops. They're very basic Bowman. However, the poor people, they should certainly charge. They only, they're only good for garrison duties. They don't really want the poor people in the army. They're similar to the cannon fodders of Hyrule to Law. They have the same stats, one in attack and one in charge bonus. Maybe they have a little bit better defense. No, they have a shield too. They are just as bad, even for the two they have spears. They do not uh, have unlimited morale, so they have very bad morale too. They are worse than the 2k in, in Hyrule, which is a Zelda mode of the same game. Here I've also made a sub mode. Alright, we kill 94%, we kill 24%. Okay. Our men have taken 416 remaining of 701, they lost almost half their regional force, not exactly half, but almost. They couldn't win, even sent in an additional force, aid. problem with this mod is that um, in the beginning at least, that, that everyone has villages, so you can't really uh, defend against attacks. If you just attack and you will have to fight, no matter how many you have in the settlement. And uh, yeah, there is a higher risk you lose if they have the metal advantage. Uh, when you get to town, you get the palisade wall, which will defend you a bit for one turn at least. Then in the, with the, the large town you get the wooden wall where you can even have troops on the walls. So that's the only good wall in this game unless uh, Appian added stone walls. If he re-implemented re cities, but that would be bad. Because if he did that, they won't be custom settlements, I believe. You have custom settlements all the way up until large town. But if there is anything later, like a city or large city, then they will most likely be vanilla medieval two cities, which would suck, then I will have to update the mod, because I don't like any such change. I removed the vanilla cities for a reason, so... I don't think they should have anything later than, than a large town. Maybe the Franks would have all the way up to a huge city, but... Everyone else should have only a large town. Because they are savages. They are not uh, All of France. Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Okay, nice. 26% allies killed. And then we restored some, so we, we lost 22%. We restored 2% when we won. We killed 1%, okay. Battle results are finger. Legerta, Shield Maiden at 1415. Norseman under her command. We lost zero. Despite sending in the poor people. We killed nine. So our poor people and bowmen killed nine. Okay, Captain Vigjalmar. Uh, or Vigjalma. Uh, I'm not sure it's an old Norse name. Vigjalmar. I will try to say the old Norse name. Okay, Captain Vigjalmar. 
had 1001 troops and they lost uh, 542, so about uh, a bit over half were lost. Um, but they do not have. Uh, I believe they restored some after the victory. Okay. And remaining 459. Some of these numbers may be, you know, those that got hurt in the battle but could be uh, fully restored after the victory. Uh, usually when you win you restore at least 15% of an army. Uh, men remaining 459 out of 1001, okay. And we killed 739 enemies. They killed 610. They lost everyone have zero remaining. They killed 10 when they were broken too. The detailed statistics. We can see what each individual unit did. See that Captain Vig Elmer See that the Bunder unit killed 85 enemies. The Viga men, one unit of them killed 43, another killed 108. The poor people killed 59. And then we have a Wrecker unit that killed 112. The, and then we had a unit of Boga men killed 88. The unit of Viga men killed 263. No, 203. And the Boga men unit killed 56. So the Viga men unit, the third one did the best in the battle and then there were another one that killed 108 so they did pretty well the Viga men the alehole brawlers and then uh, we had the unit of Rekka the only warrior unit in their army and it killed 117 but it still did worse than the than one of the Viga men which is surprising the rest were just ordinary bowmen and burn, uh, farmers and poor people so they weren't expected to do very well okay, we won the battle Furor, Normanor, Oliver as Christian Prayer. Yeah. So, we have three options. Occupation options. This settlement has fallen to the might of your army. Victory is yours, and the fate of the settlement is in your hands. You can occupy it and gain. Uh, 31 florins from looting, we can sack the settlement, population to be massacred, 133 florins gained from looting, 1200, so if we sack it we gain more money and we can also exterminate populace, population to be massacred, 301 instead of 133 if we occupy it, none will be killed and florins gained from looting, 3497, we gain the most if we exterminate and also we prevent it from revolting and such, I think we will exterminate uh, but if we exterminate we lose any buildings there and this was our people previously okay so I think we'll just sack it so we still have the master field it's our own people they won't uh, revolt okay and uh, yeah yes. had a force here move them back towards lean shipping Today, Lord. Yes? Who out this general? Orders. Your Move out, Move out the force. So if they attack this area, we have only one unit inside. Orders. Yes. Maybe that's bad actually. We'll yes. Then they can My probably Lord. take it before the army reaches the city. Yes. We will keep the farmers inside and then if they attack they will hold the village while this army will advance this force under General Hildinger okay okay so Legarta took back Braveller from the Geats They do have an area down there. They also have an army. Nearby. I think we could move it down towards this area. Yes! Cross in for battle! We can march no further today. Okay, and this I will have to defend. Lean shipping, we can get a merchant, we'll do that. 
go for that and then Frey Sayer we can get the Martian too. Yet Bela we can go for a car for ship. Yeah, we can use a ship there. We want a big fleet. And then Kaupanger so we can uh, in Kaupang's weaker. Kaupang's weak. We will go for carf a carfish ship there too. Need a new fleet that must be made stronger than the goodness fleet that destroyed us. Just they destroy us. We will move this fleet to the port. Maybe they are more protected there. I don't know if they can be destroyed in a port. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, and then we will click and turn actually. Candidate for adoption. I could use a general. We have been rewarded with 3000 florins. Council are really impressed by your leadership and would like you to accept this humble offering as a token of past and future endeavors. Okay. The bodyguards are elite infantry, that's why we accept the dues. Oh. They are about to attack here again. Your Majesty. Oh, I forgot about that unit too. Your so th that means... Orders. All these into the settlement. Still have an army over here. We will meet you there. They might Talk be too still. strong. Come face me! Yes! Let's move Legerta over here. Move, out. move these, these two into the Let army. I do not have the strongest force here. They have a general. Ra Raudif. No, Radolfer. I believe that's the guy that took the area previously. I want to take it back, take it back again. You have a captain. Let him attack. I don't want to risk losing that force. We might lose if we attack him with this force. It's mostly farmers as we can see. And he's a strong force too, probably with better troops for the most part. We have some wrecker here, but for the most part I believe uh, we have two basic troops. So be willing to try that. Uh, we will move uh, could move Ragnar. He should move down there. Onward. A good day's march ends. We can attack the gates over here. We have a lot of areas there. Legurta could attack here. Order. Orders? Okay. Yes. Could probably sacrifice Your the unit of poor people Order. here. Move and them as a Orders. reinforcement. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Okay. They fled. The enemy are beaten. Bringing our troops together. Your Majesty. Orders. Let's see the strings, they are slightly below the symbol, they are also below the symbol, but we, we need those troops there in case they attack. Ok, we will attack, we will be backed up by a general. I don't want him to fight in the battle, we will take personal control over him. Ok, fight the battle on the battle map, balance of power, arm strength ratio 3-1 in our favor. He has 576 men. Two wreck uh, warriors, a bodyguard of herdmen, they are strong. And they have the Vaidman archers, they, they are really good archers, the best Norse archers in the game. So, nine uh, defense and four melee attack, if 
high charge bonus in total. They have 9 attack, 9 defense and 6 missile attack. Well, the Langboga men, they have uh, same missile attack. They only have uh, 4 attack instead of... Uh, they have the same attack but 2 in charge instead of uh, 5. So these guys, the Raider men, have better melee charge attack. And I believe the, the Longboga men have, better, have worse defense. They have 8 defense instead of 9. And um, the Vader men, they, have, they are expert in hitting in woods. They, are, they can hide in woods, which means they are invisible for, for enemy units until they decide to attack, as long as they are in a wooded area. Combat bonus in woods. The combat, they are better in combat in woods too. They have long range missiles, can use flaming missiles, very good stamina. Well, the Langboga men are effective against armor, so if an enemy has armor, they will penetrate that armor. So the Longboga men are better against armored units, but have and have long range missiles too, and can fire flaming arrows, good morale, good stamina. But the, these guys have very good stamina, so they have better stamina. Okay, they can take more hits before dying. Uh, let's start the battle. I think maybe we want this guy to be fighting because they no we don't want that they have a herdman unit but we will send basic stuff against him may not have saved now by the way I don't know so then I don't know if I died using the third person we really we are in such an advantage that we don't need to use Legarte send the basic stuff, start deployment. The girl is still leading the army but we won't control her. Uh, the ranged units will be placed in loose formation with fire ammo on. One group. Basic troops. Kara, I count them as basic too, even if they're medium. Okay, and then the Rekka, they are Javelin throwers. So we'll have them in a different group together with other Javelin throwers. Loose formation, shield wall, one line. These are the units that use a Javelin thrower, throw, Javelins and shields. Okay. We have Viking our soldiers. We'll also be in shield wall. Medium armored troops, we have the Hus Carlar, elite Axemen, Housemen, House Carls, means they are wealthier than the Carls. Carls just means a manly man. Uh, while um, um, like uh, House Carl means uh, uh, a houseman, so a man that has enough wealth to own a house. And that means they can own armor and helmets too. Okay. Uh, we have the Riddarar Cavalry. Can be on the side over there. We have the, the Archers. Okay, and then we have, um, we have two units of Hus Karla, then there will be one group. Karla, we are more than two. Can be there. Then we have Legerta herself. The reason we won't use the third person mode is because I didn't save if it's the of the battle, we would need to replay it. It's less likely to crash if we do not use it. Okay, start the battle. The way the sound limb is 20, that's fine. Okay. So, reinforcements. Odmunder. Or something. It's a Norse name. Not the Swedish. So I have a hard time pronouncing it. Their army is probably hidden in the woods here. So they are also Norse. They can hide in the woods. 
and Göta land or Gotland in, in particular are good at that. They have a lot of skirmishing troops that are good at, you know, fighting in woods and hitting the enemy. Okay. Against them. Ah, we are controlling them this time. We had a border guard ally there. Let's move them over there. Hurry up. For the enemy. We'll have to send something. can send the poor people to scout the enemy area so they will become visible difficult to see in the forest we'll send the poor people the bowmen for now The horsemen too would be good. Sand. Mounted skirmishers, the riddler. Are. They have no formations, but they can throw javelins and move back and forth. They will scout the area for us. We can easily run away. The enemy, I don't believe they had any horsemen. The enemy started very far away, so it made sense. And the cavalry, especially since they were ranged. They won't get ambushed. They also have fire at will on. So if any enemy shows up unexpectedly in our way or path, then, then they will attack immediately. Ah, here we have some cavalry. Okay. Here are the Langboga men. Very good archers. And the Vedermen. Send the Vedermen we have against their Vedermen and our Bogamen against their Langbogamen. Fortunately, the Bogamen are worse. Fuck. Go back. They were stupid and ran straight into the spearmen here. We had to move them back. They do not have any circle formation, unfortunately. Use them. I think we will move them back entirely. Because they are good at hunting down and routing enemies later. When we have broken the enemy. These guys will be perfect to hunt them down. We don't want to lose the cavalry. If we don't have to. Bogaman, of course, we we'll need to fight their long range units. It's past the game. They sent their warriors to their leadsmen. We'll send leadsmen against them. They have two units of leadsmen. We'll send Rekkar against their second unit. I believe Rekkar are better because they are spearmen in melee and Wreckar or axe or so axe and sword melee infantry use javelins like them so they will be better against spearmen in melee one unit of leadsmen there and another one here then we have a unit of um, langboga men they are better than the bowmen unfortunately 
for us. Um, what else do they have? They have the herdman, the herdsman, the bodyguard, but do they have anything else? I doubt that they have anything else. Except the general's bodyguard. We'll send our ally against their bodyguard. Here they have some wrecker. I didn't see it first. Send our wrecker against them. Our farmadur. Problem is if our troops are a bit too far away. So our general here, the second general is up there. Not that far away. But we are using shield wall formation. They might have a problems moving fast. Oh, they are running. We'll also send the bonus unit, we'll send the, the Bunder, no the Fatwick is fought, they are already here, good. But they shouldn't fight that unit, they should fight the Wrecker, not their Herdman Elite unit. We want the worst unit to fight their best unit. Okay, um, they want our second general, the adoptive gen adopted general to fight their Herdman. Just move away now. Don't like that they fight the herdman. So we'll run away. Herdman return. Let's move over there. Poor people managed to somehow attack the wrong unit. We'll use real wall with our second general's bodyguard and attack there. Bodyguard, they have 46 units, we have 51, we have the numerical advantage. Our poor people managed to kill a few of them. Okay, attack. I don't care if you are wasted. So I wanted my bodyguard to face off against their bodyguard. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay. Try again. The wrecker, they will probably be defeated, but they are there to be wasted. We don't have to waste as many of our good stuff. We prefer getting rid of the bad stuff first. Here is our Farmadur, Gutnish unique troops. We hired as mercenaries. Pretty much any unit except the Frank troops exist as mercenaries. Maybe some exceptions. It's unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a world. Oh, they easily took care of those wrecker troops. They are not that heavily armed or armored. But our bowmen, these are Langbogamen. Let's attack them with the Vaderman. 
Mr. Bogeman now broken. Uh, so okay, I can look at the game from this view. Now it's easier to know where they are. Even tag the guy and Tommy here. I'm speaking, our Merkner is fighting there, together with some of the, the Viking, our troops. They have lost half their men. Leedsman will attack their Leedsman. Herdman need to attack their Herdman. Some are past them. The Wrecker are broken, they have a long Bogeman. Longbowmen will send our Vaderman against them. Our cavalry. The bodyguard Flegerty will be in skill transformation. Okay, she's some of attack when I'm not watching. Uh, okay. I would like my Wrecker to be in the battle. Let's move them up to fight the Leedsman. Here we have a Leedsman fighting their Herdman. Where's my Herdman? Idiots, the cavalry shouldn't be wasted like that. Those that ran straight into the spearman. About 39 remaining now. But our herdmen are slow. They will attack from behind these guys. Herdman will kill off my Lidsman, which is not good. I want the dear Herdman to fight only my Herdman. Now they have American disadvantage. They'll be killed from behind. They are easily killed from behind. This game they are protected from the Shreel side. If attacked, and if, if they attack from the front, and but from the right, I believe they. It's harder to defend, and from the back they are totally undefended. Meaning, if you are attacked from behind, you will die. Only 10 remaining now of the enemy herdmen. So, we are see. blessed! The enemy general is dead! We have sent the idiots to hell! Radulfer, dead. Our Wrecker are attacking their Leedsmen there. They, they still have bowmen. Try to take them out with ours. And the Horseman should attack them too. Okay, so we killed off most of their troops. Almighty, our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. Let's see, if we kill it for percent, let's continue the battle. They have long bogeman, they are fleeing. Here we have Wrecker of Gotland. They seem to be fleeing too. Yeah, they are outside of the playable area. We have a unit of Farmadu there. They defeated those Wrecker. So it's only a matter of their bowmen escaping now. We can disable the flashlight. We'll use the cavalry. And we 
can use melee. It's a melee switch if you click Alt and uh, right click on an enemy. If you click Alt on a unit that has javelins or bows, you can then use them in melee and then you can right click on the unit so they will use their axes or swords instead of their javelins and bows. We need to disable the fair wheel and then click. Now they will kill them with their melee weapon. It's perfect to have horsemen. The army so you can hunt down the enemy. didn't really want them to be wasted as the Norse have very few cavalry units so they are valuable hunting down most of the enemy troops as they, most of the enemy will be infantry the battle is probably over don't need skill through many more uh, the battle is probably over now. Okay, so Legarta didn't have to fight, but some of the Viking troops did have to fight. They managed to reach our lines here. Jums Viking had been ordered to join the battle. The Vikings weren't really supposed to fight in the battle still had to fight. I love the terrain in this mod by the way, it's very Scandinavian. Completely custom with Scandinavian trees and the uh, ground and such. Looks very unique for this mod. Okay, so uh, the battle is over. Killed 93%, they killed 15% of our army. So we have total superiority here. Fast forward. Uh, we're still hunting this unit out of the battlefield. Unit of Wreckar. Warriors, they are hunted by Fat Wreckers folk, poor people. 109 of them remaining, and 41 of the Wreckar. They have axes in melee, as far as I can see, and swords. Well, the elites, when they have spears. So. And the spears are better against cavalry, so these guys would be worse against cavalry, but these guys are better against the infantry. Spears are worse against the infantry than swords and, and axes. Alright, the battle is over. That goes to only men of great virtue Battle results. Clear victory. Erfingi, the had 667 men, lost 211. 456 remaining, 424 enemies were killed, 64 when they were broken. Uh, the enemy Radolf died, he had 576 men, he lost 494, 82 remaining that fled the battle. And they killed 222 of our troops, and 20 additional troops were killed when they were broken. Uh, we killed 86%, they killed 12%, we restored some troops, I believe we restored 3%, okay. Uh, details, battle statistics. You can see casualties inflicted, the Riddarar unit inflicted 46 casualties, and uh, mostly the, the fleeing units at the end. Uh, 36 units were killed by the Boga men. 69 units were killed by the Vader men, the best archers that we had, the best the Norse can field. And the 39 were killed by the Lidsmen, by one of our Lidsmen units. 42 by our Wreckar, uh, Javeliners, the ones with axes and swords. Seven by the Jums Vikingar, so not that many enemies, but a few. And the two were killed by the poor people. The Viking are 
soldiers or the Viking Viking are they killed uh, Viking are in, in Swedish they killed 69 so they killed more than I had expected them to do in this battle didn't even want them to fight the wreck are killed uh, also another unit wreck are killed 46 and the herdman killed 24 mostly the other herdman units For all the Slavs, other people would equal them, Ibrahim, Ibn, Jakob. Okay, prisoners captured, Wrecker, we just execute the enemy. Okay. Merge the troops, nothing to merge, you see. Trade increase. Finger Ligurta uh, Proven Commander, nice Yeah, so we got some traits And Marble Rats, our Finger Ligurta, okay uh, We have an enemy army over there, let's move her towards that army We will save the game We also have how to save on, of course See, we, we can build in different places. We'll do that next. So we have um, go for a practice range in Lin Coping, Lin Chopping, and some uh, a woodworker in Tarstabori. Same in Mura. A practice range in Jeffbille, Jeffbille. In Seek Tuner, we, will, we are still constructing. We will get a woodworker in Burke. In Vendel, we'll go for a woodworker. In Uppsala, we'll go for a woodworker. Solatum, we'll go for a woodworker as well. In uh, Kaupangers Vikinger, uh, or Kaupangers Vikar, we'll go for a practice range. Woodworker in Uklabu. In Westeros will go for a woodworker. In practice range in Tursal. Okay. Recruitment. So in Lean Shipping we can go for a farmer. <coughs> we don't really need the troops there right now. Yeah, we could use an another farmer there. Uh, in Tarstabori we can use a farmer. Mura, we could use a farmer. Tracer, of course we can use a farmer. Jeff Bell, we don't really need more troops. No enemy will come there anyway. Sugtinir, don't need more troops in the capital right now. Not in Burke either. We don't want too many troops, you know, it, it, it can affect the economy negatively. In Vendel, we don't need troops. In Uppsala, we don't need troops. Or in Uppsala, so Latin, we can use another unit. We don't need troops in Helsingland. Helsingland. <coughs> Same in Kapangsviker. It's a, an Iyer. We don't need that. In Uklabu. Uh, I don't think we need that. In Westeros, we don't really need. Okay. Uh, so, uh, maybe we could go for one in Tursal, move a unit towards Raveller. As for the troops moving, Orders. Yes. Ragnar has already moved. Yes. These troops could move. Need more troops in Freysayer. Orders. Move them there. Onward. We can march no further today. Your Majesty. Right, and we're done this time. Let's end the time. <coughs> Candidate for adoption. I don't want too many, I believe. Gunvalder. Loyal to... Uh, we could...
tool go for him too, but they are pretty costly. Relations report. We have poor relations with <coughs> the Cursey Coronian Belt. They are pretty strong. And with the uh, Rigaland in Norse, with Quenland, with Hammer, with Gutland, with Denmark. Probably all of the factions we are at war with. Okay, we have some new Bunder or farmers. Different places. We have some new buildings constructed. Two practice ranges. A a um, tool shred and a hunter. Whatever. Okay. We are still the strongest militarily. Yes. Okay. We will move uh, units down here. Yes, Lord. Ragnar will move down there. Orders. Orders. And uh, I guess um, this battle Your Majesty could uh Talk is cheap. Come face me. Yes. Onward. Name the they have uh, two units of poor people, we have one unit of poor people. Um, but we have, uh, let's see, three, four, six, seven. we have seven, unit, seven farmers, they have two farmers. And we have one Vega man, they have two Vega men. Okay, but numbers, one, two, three. They have eleven units, and we have twelve. <clears throat> oh, they have another army here. That's the case. We have a merchant, by the way, a new merchant. Can move out now. Gather some resource somewhere. Move him there. Could move out the general. Do they have any generals or are they captains? They are captains and we don't need a general. Yes. There. This oh. poor people unit could be moved into that army too. Orders. The Borga yes. man. Yes. Orders. I will send the Karar. They are basic. They are medium but I still think they are pretty basic medium troops. The man sent it to bring in orders. Order. We send the wrecker. Yes, March. Verging armies. Your Majesty. Yes, Lord. Closing for battle. One one advantage in their favor. Yes, yes, my lord. Your okay. Goethe. I think we will send some more troops there. Your Majesty. Orders. Your Majesty. Okay. Yes. the cavalry in our own army. I don't want to risk the cavalry. And we will attack with Legerta the battle. Move out. And we will control her in third person against these yes. two armies. We'll save the game here. Forgot to do that the last time. We will um, do a second save. Okay, and we will fight this battle now too. So we have uh, Captain Bengeir of Götaland with 1376 men, including those that we saw. We, they have two units of farmers, two units of poor people, two units of Rekar warriors, two units of um, Karar, 
and they have, uh, which is ordinary men then, do not have enough money for armor and such, but are still not farmers and are free men. Okay, leadsmen, they have one unit of leadsmen, they are also warriors, using spears and lee instead of axes and swords like the wrecker. We have the ale brawlers, two of them. That's the first army. Then the second army under Captain Lakenair of Jötaland has 1301 men. We have four units of under farmers, two units of uh, Karar, Karls. We also have one unit of the bigger men, Hellhole Brawlers, one unit of Bogaman Bowmen, one unit of Wademen, Elite Hunters or Archers, and they have two unique. Uh, Javelin throwing unit 2 uh, Drenger Drengar They are pretty good effective against armor They can penetrate armor and they have good morale 7 att miss uh, melee attack 2 charge bonus in total They have 9 attack 14 defense, they have really good defense And 5 missile attack with their javelins okay. Can also do probably shield ball I'm not sure but they are have leather armor Okay, so these are the two armies that will face, no general in the enemy army. And we have two captains as well. We'll partially control them manually. So balance of power, army strength ratio 3-2 in our favor. Let's fight the battle on the battle map. We won't use the cavalry much, I believe. Maybe when we're gonna ride down the flings, maybe, but not before that. Keep them out of Moser unit 5. Our foes appear Start to be deployment. I don't want Legerta and her units to start that close to the enemy. We need to move her as far back as possible. But we don't want her to start um, too far away from the army either. I believe she could start over here next to the elite army. We will start over here. Okay, start. No, we we'll won't start the battle right now. Lose formation with these guys and Legerta herself. I need to pause the recording here. So be right back. So I'm back. It worked. We are controlling Legerta. Her, her legs might look a little bit worse in this mod than in the other. I think the shield is fine actually. And her face looked better here, I believe. But anyway, she has a bodyguard of Skittle Svenar here. Let's zoom out. Let's start the battle. Uh, so, reinforcements. Captain Asfstrader. Reinforcements. Captain. Sieg Wither. Okay. They need to enter. Will be entering behind us. If there is anything wrong. We'll place this army with 2045 men in shootout stands. We have 2045 troops entering over here. Huge army. We'll have normal speed on, of course. We had a bunch of ranged units and a lot of basic stuff like the farmers, bowmen, poor people, and some wrecker, leadsmen, medium troops. And the uh, Viga men, of course. The other army had more better troops like the Viking are. Viking are Swedish. I don't know if they had any range units. Viking are they are uh, whose carls had some range units like the javelin throwers. We will have them on shootout too. Then the enemy army. We have two armies. They are over here hiding. They're hiding from us in the forest. Our cavalry won't need to do anything right now. 
We will move it to Goethe. So this one she has a Swedish shield. The, the armor on the legs looks a bit worse due to the new the new uh, normal. I might change it back. I'm not sure if she looked worse in the face. She might look worse here. I'm not sure. And in the other one. Uh, anyway, we will uh, ignore that for now. Here are the Skutus Swain, our unique bodyguard for Legurta, because she needed a spear a bodyguard. She has a spear, a spear herself. That was a perfect unit for her. They are heavily armored like the Herdman, but they're using spears instead. Can use skill from formation too. Cavalry, the radar cavalry. Cavalry is pretty huge compared to infantry. They need to hurry up after the army. Move the bodyguard as well. We don't want the bodyguard to be left behind. Because if they are left behind, they might be undefended if they attack the general. You have a Herdman unit, no, a Viking or unit. I believe their captain is leading that Viking unit. It's a Herdman captain. This is the smaller force, but with some better troops. It's a shame that the face doesn't look perfect. But, what can I do? This was originally a shield maiden for the Norskan faction in Call of Warhammer. Then I changed the hair, texture the texture of the shield, the texture of the face an actual portrait of the actor from the Vikings TV show. The hair is also based on, on that actor, so but but she looked better on the map because when you zoom in for some reason and due to the, the light her face looks a little bit weird. And I think the legs look better in the other mode where I have a different normal file. But it's fine. Try to keep the heroes alive for as long as possible. She's the only shield maiden hero in the mod. So if she dies, we will not have any shield maidens, females playable in battle anymore. There are shield maidens on the map as spies, threat models on the map, and then there are drottning princess models, which means queen. So drottning, drottning are that's pretty much queens. So we have queens and we have shield maidens on the map, but we only have Legurt in battle. And generic generals. Ragnar has a generic general model. Unfortunately, I will probably make one unique for him later. Separate one of the, the, the most badass one and make that unique for Ragnar, maybe thought about it but or I used to keep it like it is. Okay, so our two armies are marching, none of them have reached the enemy. You can now see the enemy army and the star is their leader. The red star. They are marked as a star on the map. So 
this is the captain. He's less detailed than a general. Still looks heavily armored compared to the Vikings who are using leather armor. The captain has mail, chain mail. And a better helmet. More costly helmet. Swords and axes. Okay, so the battle should start soon. Should start shooting at each other soon. We have shoot at stands on. Because so we wanted them to use their range units. They had those. I don't know where my bodyguard is. Is that over there? Armored. Uh, it's Sven over there. I think that's the bodyguard. Maybe not. Let's pause the game. Horsemen are over here. Yeah, it's the horsemen. They will stay there. Well, we could probably move them a bit closer. Okay. Who's Carl? Who's Carl? Who's Carl? Uh, Farmadur. All of the loose car are. And they have her bodyguard here, I see. They are there. Um, and they end in, uh, in the forest. So here we have some troops. Poor people. Yeah, it looks kind of epic with infantry armies like this in third person. So the problem is if we get uh, outnumbered, then it's hard to survive against Norse at least because they have the same units. I believe the Balts and the Slavs, they, they have different units. They have more cavalry, which is very dangerous, but their infantry is worse. Well, their cavalry is obviously better. But the, the Swedish faction has heavy cavalry too. We just get it very late game. Well, the Slavs might have access to them earlier. Franks, they have some cavalry in the starting armies that are actually good. Can also recruit them sooner than the others, I believe. They start with a town as a capital, so they will upgrade that into a large town. But we will have to up upgrade into a town first. I believe we can get the Javelin throwing cavalry, the Riddler are already in the town level, but not the heavy cavalry. the forest now. Let's run. Very immersive. Forest looks very very Scandinavian too. That's one of the most impressive things about this mod. 
Here we have the Who's Carlar or House Carls. They are also really cool. Heavily armored. Two handed X-Men. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Eight allies from enemies. Let's move up our border guard. They're not that far away. Fire it. It's uh, neighbor running again. They have archers. There's our bodyguard. battle going on. A bit boring to stay too far away from the fighting. We need to move closer. There we can see some enemies. The thunder, they are broken. The enemy farmers. We break them. We have lean throwers here are firing their javelins. Our leadsmen. The 
here. I can see that they are fighting. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. I don't want to go too close in case some of them are, them are the enemies. Yeah, it's looking cool. We are the green dot on the uh, pair. I will move my bodyguard here. We are not too far away. game. I need to check this. Enemy general fallen. Okay. Uh, 40% enemies killed. 32% allies killed. If we look at the map we could probably enable this so we can see who is an enemy and who is an ally. So red ones are enemies. Blue ones are allies. And green ones are controlled by us, that's just the radar unit and our bodyguard. We can zoom out, it's thanks to the m 2 vup tool, same tool that is needed for the Berserk attribute to work. So whenever I use it, I can play with the Berserkers using the Berserk attribute and I can zoom out like this and have everything blink. You can see our cavalry over there, see our bodyguard here with Lagerta. You can see our allies, troops, our armies, army from the larger army, and uh, I, I don't know, but I think this is our smaller force, and then the larger force have combined. Then we have the enemy, they had two armies too. They had slightly worse troops, so we will probably win. Killed 40%, as so I said, they killed 32%, so it's not that uneven. Uh, but we have... Um, advantage on this side they might breach us over here yeah. they have more troops here yeah it helps with the uh, blinking uh, as the units are exactly the same you, you don't know who is an enemy and who is an ally until you place your mouse there and see that it's the enemy so it's easy to be surprised and surrounded by troops that look like your troops but might be the enemy if you fight another Norse faction that is but the only uni unique units are their elites okay we even had some Farmadur troops here Yeah, it will help a lot that we put this on. Now we can see where the red ones are. And the blue ones. Good job, soldiers! It's another glorious battle. They fall. They go to Valhalla. Valhalla. Swedish. Wall Hall. Oh, the enemy is not that far away here. Need to move the general a bit back. The most dangerous unit is a cavalry unit, which will most of them target the generals. And they can't be outrun. But they do not have any cavalry, unfortunately. The second danger, most dangerous unit would be a ranged unit. Sometimes they can target the generals. With arrows 
javelin throwers and they take a lot of damage too. You don't want that to happen that they kill us from afar. Which is more likely in this game when there are so many ranged units and so few cavalry units. Oh, saw some javelins there being thrown at us. They missed. Yeah, we are in danger. Those Jesus Christ! You'll have to put speed on and run. Go back. So the battle is still raging. Start to spam arrows and javelins. Really dangerous weapons against generals. Good job, warriors! Continue to fight. You'll we'll gain glory for Thor, Odin, and everyone else. Okay end up in Valhalla if we fall. Only if we fall in battle can we go to Valhalla. If, if we die any other way, due to old age or something, then we won't go to Valhalla. So we need to die in battle. Okay. Are they fleeing? They're broken, the Farmadurs. Unique goodness unit. Markners. the game I want to see how it looks mm, this front has become a bit dangerous we have a lot of enemy troops here I think we will have to reposition a bit we will have to move out we are dangerously close to the enemy we have the upper hand here. We have poor people, more poor people, the ale hall brawlers, stranger unique troops. We'll take a look at them later. Farmers, bowmen, leadsmen, the javelin towards with spears, more farmers, bowmen, wrecker, the javelin towards with. The axes and swords in melee. More farmers, more farmers. And the wrecker. And we actually have. Uh, we are retreating with some farmers there. Wrecker are retreating. Bowman retreating. Farmers retreating. Carer are still fighting. Farmers wavering. Okay, hey, that's not good. Um, let's see here. What we need to do is we need to uh, attack with the cavalry. And then we need uh, Gerta's bodyguard to join the battle before they are all killed from afar. We'll attack the Drengar. Drengar, a unique unit of the Yeats. They are medium armored, heavily in throwing units. Okay, we will unpause the game. We forward to the Sveinar, which is this elite spearman unit. Fight, because they, they have been killed from afar. Look at this, they kill a lot of our units um, that we are just standing there, it's better if they actually fight. Here we have some whose color eager to help in the battle. 
move Lagerta into this area. She is protected on all sides. Statistics. 50% enemies killed, 50% allies killed. The other troops are routing. It's really bad. We don't want to lose, you know. We need to retreat with Lagerta. And better for them than I had hoped. 65% enemies killed, 55% allies killed. We are leading with 10%, but they might still win the battle, we'll see. Killed a bunch of our Skittlesvein, our elite spearmen, when they were just standing there and being targets. Oh, there's enemy. The enemy is over there. We have to move a bit back. Had to send in the cavalry. Follow our shit, that's the enemy. Needed to follow. Many are alive for the seven. Pause the game, zoom out. I need to get an overview of the situation. Fuck, I clicked the wrong button. Okay. So the, our armies are retreating here. Farmers, bowmen, farmers, carer even. Bowmen, bowmen, farmers, raidmen. We lost some good stuff too. Yeah, the second army, the large one, had a lot of farmers. They suck. I believe they had more medium stuff, but we also had a, uh, some really good mercenary troops and viking our soldiers. We shouldn't be losing. We killed um, 71%, we killed 58%. We, we should have the better army. I think we can still win. We have broken this wrecker unit. And this one is shaken. Another one is shaken here, a carer unit. Okay. Who's carer? So we still have a who's carer unit there, this is eager. Like a fighting, they're shaken. But their farm unit is also shaken. Shit, they have a lot of troops here. Here is our cavalry. I believe our cavalry is fighting alone over here. Let's see. They're fighting a lot of their troops. Poor people. They've broken their car and poor people. That's good. I don't want them to continue that fight. Drenjar. Drenjar. They should attack there. We need them to help. The actual... Clicked with the wrong unit, I believe. Stop your actions. Okay, so... Uh, as far as I can see, we can still win the battle. We'll probably win here. Here we risk losing. The cavalry is chasing them over here. We'll have ordered the cavalry to return to fight um, the other units that are here. Okay, and then our uh, allies troops here. Viking are broken. Leadsmen winded. Winded, okay. Uh, 
have some Rekka there. Yeah, I don't like that the bodyguard is in the middle of it. I need to move back. It even broke some of the Viking are. Okay, we need to move back. We are about to be get uh, slaughtered. Um, so, Gerta is over here. Here she is. A lot of dead all around her. We have a unit of enemy leadsmen there. We have Jim's Viking are on our side. Okay. Board got only less 45 units now. Enemies here too. Farmers versus our wrecker. Epic battle. Gerta, they were behind the troops. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. We need to we need to kill more of them. We are too close to the front. I don't want them to hit the character with those javelins. Allied troop, very good. Cavalry should arrive soon. Forty one Skutel Svein are still alive. Let's kill them. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. It's a long reach and with spear. Worthy victory. Please try to kill them. Backup from some young speaking air. Mercenaries. Praise the Almighty. 
Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. Oh, they're broken. Continue the battle, of course. We killed 77%, we killed 60%, was more even than I had hoped. Now they are routing. We have won the battle. Okay, to defend Lagert, I will place the border guard front far. Then we will move out. Our cavalry is here. Probably they scared away the enemy. Need to move out of this view. Scared away a lot of our troops. But the enemy is routing, so we will place them in. We will hunt the enemy. Cavalry. Cavalry is perfect for that. So that's exactly what we will do. Kill all their fleeing farmers here. They can't reinforce another army. This will invade later. This was a really epic battle. Unfortunately we didn't see much of it because we control again. But I think it's worth it. It's epic to look at battles like that. I played so much medieval total war kingdoms. You know, from the strategic view where you look at it from this uh, point of view. So it's more epic for me to, to use the new some battles where you control the generals. And see everything from per per third person view. It looks very epic and immersive. This immersive uh, in the forest, it felt very cool. This uh, Viking mod. Attack them too. With your axes. The wreckers that are fleeing over here, they're warriors. It's more important to kill them than to kill some farmers. These are actual warriors. Unfortunately, they can't really outrun the horsemen. So we killed uh, 93% now. You can zoom in on the cavalry as they hunt down the enemy. There's an enemy. Wreck our unit. <coughs> Cavalry is a big difference. They, they look huge compared to the dismounted units. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. So enemies. Rickar. Okay, let's hunt them down. The cavalry. Before they leave the battlefield, so it's possible they can leave and survive. We don't want that. We have 37 Riddler are coming their way. Here we have some Ranger that actually managed to flee there too far away. I believe these guys are doomed. The car are here. Yeah, we will take them out. And they have some Rekkar there too. frame they fled with the ring ringer there. There's that's their unique unit. 
Oh, we killed all of them. Let's kill the final unit now. They're almost at the border. If they leave here, they will survive. Good job. You won the battle. Route. We also have a unique North UI here, user interface. The cavalry did well. I believe it's thanks to the cavalry that we managed to turn the battle, turn the tide. I thought we were losing at one point, but uh, when I turned the cavalry around, they broke. That was good. Of course, the goal is to destroy Gautland and Jutland and Jutland, which is Scotland, is Swedish, ours. and then Denmark. That we might be forced to fight the Norse and, and the Quenland faction. <coughs> so conquering all of Scandinavia would be pretty cool. And and then Quenland and Finland too. Uh, but the Slavic areas and uh, the Baltic areas, they will be lost if I ever go there. Uh, the French would be fun to fight uh, against, but we won't face them in a long time. We need to defeat all the Norse and Denmark first, at least. Okay, close victory. It's close because we almost lost. So we restored some units. We lost 53% of our troops. And we killed 82% of the enemy. So they lost 82%. And we lost 53, but I believe we restored some. We had lost over 65%, I believe. But because we won the battle, we restored some. Okay. <coughs> so, close victory. Erfinger Lagerta had 112 troops. Um, one Riddler unit and her Skull Sveinar bodyguard. She lost 29. Mostly of the Skittle Sveinar bodyguard and uh, have 83 remaining in total for both those units. Uh, she killed 111 of the enemy. So we lost 29 and killed 111. Then we killed 186 additional troops when they were broken. Mostly the cavalry did kill a lot of troops when they were broken as we saw. Okay, then we had Captain Astrader of uh, Sweet Jude. He had uh, 2045 men lost 986 men or uh, yeah 986 uh, and have uh, I believe uh, 1059 remaining so he lost about half the army he killed 806 of the enemy and an additional 119 enemies were killed when they were broken so he lost more than he killed which wasn't good but at least he survived and we won the battle and he has the bigger part still alive. Okay, Captain Sigvider of Sweet you had 639 men, lost 465, have 174 remaining after the battle, so lost the bigger part of the army, lost about 5-6 uh, 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 parts, so out of 600 uh, he lost 5. So. So yeah, that was, uh, he lost six, uh, five and six. Okay, and then we have, um, he killed 863 of the enemy, and seven they were broken. Okay, Captain Bengeir of uh, Gautland had, uh, or Jötaland had uh, 376 men, lost 1062, 314 remaining of the battle, and uh, he killed 814 killed about the same as Captain Astrader of Sweetwood and Captain Lakenair uh, yeah Captain Lakenair of Jötaland he had 301 men so about the same size as the other one and lost 1137 164 remaining so fewer remaining than the other one probably a worse army and killed 573 of our troops and 142 additional troops when they were broken. Let's check the battle statistics. We can see that the Riddara troop killed uh, 
casualties inflicted 19 the reader oh they only killed 19 okay but they captured 123 prisoners so they weren't killed they were captured as prisoners when they break they are captured as prisoners not killed but you can then kill them when you return to the map uh, and uh, Legert herself ca captured about 13 prisoners too so the radar unit only killed 19 and Legerta killed uh, 92 of the enemies. That was actually pretty good. And we have Captain Astrada, sweet dude. See the details here. Uh, of the f their troops, one unit killed 107. It was a Vega man, <coughs> Alehole Brawler unit. And Captain Siegvader, smaller force but with better troops killed way more troops of course um, so the one viking our unit killed 93 another killed 166 very good and the huskara unit uh, huskara unit killed 166 oh 122 actually leads unit killed 54 but they are not that good and then we had the viking our unit killing 142. The Vikings are did really well, and the Hus Karlar. Uh, the Jöms Vikings are killed 116, and Farmadur only killed uh, 39. That was pretty poor. Hus Karlar also killed 126. Okay. So the Hus Karlar och and and the Vikings are they did very well in the battle. Most of the larger army was just peasants. Okay, that's why they broke and such. Let's return to the map. Always in Hacken's time, uh, Fulia's headband. Ah, it's like a. I see. I won't be able to read all of that. Okay. Uh, so we. Enemies captured. We captured a lot of enemies. Let's just execute them. And I will pause the recording here. Back, I had to uh, deactivate the third person mod. I always do that when I return to the map, otherwise, there could be issues, crashes, and such. Re relay, but sometimes it works when you start a new battle, otherwise, it, it could be bugged too. Um, so, um, relations worse and Yota land, Abysmal, the worst possible relations. Merge your troops. Yes. Yes. Our troops okay, our elite troops yes. will be added, of course. Yes. Don't really need any Orders. poor people in the army. Yes. I've have just one army there. My Lord. Send the poor people your back way. to Lin Shopping. This car unit might come yes. in handy, so we will probably yes. send the unit of farmers back too. Orders. And uh, we want yes. the other unit yes. to be added. Remove uh, Lagerta back for now. She needs that unit of carer. Uh, let's check the construction. Haven't done it, I see. A new turn, we'll do that. We'll construct a trapper here. Some uh, woodworkers. <laughs> here we can go for the cow pang. Maybe a trapper. Be good. Need that to get later units. Woodworkers. Okay, we're done. The construction. Yes. Ragnar is already moved. I think we moved everyone. No, we hadn't moved these guys. Continue to move this farmer unit towards uh, Freysayer. Then with these units and the general here. Scaffold. Okay, and this area could be reinforced as soon as possible. 
Patrick Schuit anything this time. Same in Mura. Tosh Dabori might need something we couldn't recruit there either. Here we can go for poor people. Okay, we will end the turn. Uh, bright presented. No, thank you. End of turn report. Something has changed. So Denmark still is the overall strongest faction in the world. They have the largest population and they have the best financial uh, situation. Uh, but uh, we are the sweet youth. Our faction is still the militarily strongest. And uh, now Hame, the mainland Finnish faction, has the best production in the world. They've taken that slot from Denmark. Okay, we have new woodworkers constructed in different places. We will we'll boost our economy. We have a new poor people unit in lean shopping and another Gautnisker uh, army here. Gautnisker Hershier led by a captain. Oh, they have an army here too, led by another captain. Could easily crush that one. We will be easily able to defeat that army. We will attack. We will defend here. We are not strong enough to face this one with the second force. I believe we could continue to march. Freysayer, his troops, Your will. farmers. Onward. We can march no further today. Well, of course, uh, Ragnar Lotbrook will yes. continue to march down here. March. Oh, here's one of their areas. We can attack immediately, which we will do, but we'll first do Lagerta's turn. So we will attack with Lagerta here. Yes. And oh, here is, uh, let's see. Götaland or Gautland. Captain for Harder. He has 626 men, including poor people, farmers, vegan men, alehold rollers, wrecker, javelin men, warriors. With axes and swords in Lee, we have the bogsmen of Bowman. I mean, bogemen and Bowman. Uh, they are the Bowman. Okay, so basic stuff. Armor strength ratio, balance of power is 5-1 five five in our favor. Let's save the game. I could continue. I enjoyed this campaign as of yet. But we don't want too long episodes, so this will be the end of the first episode. It takes forever to upload on YouTube. And if it crashes, uh, then uh, I will have to restore the video and such. So it's better to end here and continue with the second episode later. Okay, but thank you for watching. This is Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic using the sub mod. Factions United released on March 17th, 2022. So it's not that old, only three weeks old. And uh, I did a video for it like three days ago uh, that I added on the article over on modbird.com available for download right now of course the official release do not uh, use the m 2 v EP tool or medieval tool tool or engine overall project tool I believe the main mod is using it, the 3.5 version of the mod so if, if you download the 3.5 version you get the tool too but the berserkers are still not used there uh, but you can easily reactivate them uh, by adding the berserker attribute to the units Ulf Hedner and the Berserkers. But in this mod, the Factions United sub mod, you would need to add the Berser Berserker attribute. You, you write Berserker in the attribute area, no, in the mental state area. It's instead of Impetus, you write Berserker. But it will crash in battle unless you use the m 2 v EUP tool, the Medieval Tool Tool War Engine Overall Project tool, because of missing animations in the main game. And uh, uh, in order to use the tool with the uh, Factions United sub mod, you need to move over all the files for it from the main mod. And uh, yeah, that could be probably a bit complicated, but uh, it's actually pretty easy if you know which files 
uh, it's in the main directory the ones named uh, something to do with the tool or Unio or something creator is named Unio okay but anyway thank you for watching and we'll continue this video campaign later we didn't manage to conquer any areas we took back one area that Götaland took from us and we, def we defeated some the army that stole the area we took it back and we, we constructed some buildings we, we, we recruited some farmers and we moved Ragnar into besieging one of the Katniskar villages and Lagerta herself together with uh, the army one of the two armies that we have managed to defeat a huge Katniskar force um, in the area of Linköping and uh, now we are about to fight a smaller force with Lagerta that will easily win just to fight another one later that will be a little bit more troublesome to defeat but we will probably win against both of these. Uh, Ragnar Lotbrook, leader of the faction, he will have to conquer some areas. He will attack Varnheim and take it. Varnheim in all, the, all north, but change to Varnheim here. I believe up in the German mother of the submod from 2018, Ragnar from Kurm, he changed the names to be uh, what he thought was more correct, but it's not. Uh, this is the modern Swedish name Varnheim while, while the old version of the mod used the correct uh, old Norse names uh, This is a Viking mod so it's set before Sweden so then the names would be probably old Norse that's how they would be spoken uh, but anyway uh, Götaland will probably send troops to aid but because they can't uh, we don't need to wait one turn, so we can just take this area, then they will probably send troops to try and take it back. We have Skara here too that we need to take. And then there is one other area here somewhere before we can attack their capital here. And they have more areas, of course, that Legerta will try to take, but we first need to defeat these troops. Okay, thank you for watching. I believe I already saved. But just to be sure we save again. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.